Right, welcome to the channel guys, welcome to Radku Tarot, it's Rad, and in this whole video uh, I'm going to make a spread for Aquarius, Sun, Moon and as well Rising, um, what kind of experience they are going to have into the upcoming week, which is October 26th to November 1st, uh, 2020. And uh, should you be interested into a, a private reading with me, or you are interested in Tarot all along and you want to get into it, you can go as well for a tarot classes and all that could you could do uh, going to my website which you are to find into the description down below. So with that being set aside, let's move straight away to the spread itself and uh, it contains two layers, a uh, to total of eight cards. Uh, the first, the upper layer is going to uh, describe or show your romance, your love or in generally your relationship life. And the bottom layer here is going to uh, give or shed a light on uh, your professional manifestation, which is your career, work, private business, etc, etc. So with that being said, just so I can make it easier on me, uh, I'm going to turn the first layer first, make a uh, interpretation and then I'm going, I'm going to move into the lower level of the spread and then make an interpretation on it as well. So the first card we have, it is the Two of Wands, followed by the Five of Wands. After that, we do have a uh, Temperance and the last one that is to be the Four of Eight Cups. So that's a tough one for your queries. Um, it seems that this week is going to be rather quite passionate when it comes to love and romance. Now, that is especially if you are single. Um... And even if you are in a relationship as well, because what happens throughout the week itself with the two of ones sitting here, it is that the question isn't going to be, can we get together? Uh, the question isn't going to be, are we going to move on together? You know, in case you are in a relationship right now, the question is going to be where to from now on as we are going to end up together, for example, okay? So the question is not going to be, can it happen? The question is going to be, what happens next after it happens? So, uh, and there are to be quite of a clashes in that particular regard. Now that is described here by the five of wands. And the worst is that the best possible movement from there, from after it happens, is going to be anybody's guess. Meaning that your idea is not going to be better or worse by the other person's idea. But for example, if you are, uh, say, arguing with your husband where you should spend the um, Christmas holidays, his idea of spending those holidays is going to be just as good as your idea. And that exactly is going to be what causing the clashes out there and uh, it does depend on your personal, on your personality, I'm sorry, and, and your partner or person of interest or suitor, whatever, personality to come up to on an agreement. Now, one thing it is what saves the day here, and that is the temperance sitting into this particular position, which points that whatever clashes are to happen, they are not going to be a reason, nor they are going to predispose, nor they are going to be so severe to damage permanently one relationship, one interaction, or in generally one intention to move on forward with this guy or with this woman and etc, etc. The more deeper into the week you go, meaning the, the, the more the time progresses, the more the realization of even if you are not agreeing with the other person's idea and even if they aren't agreeing with yours, that is not a reason why you should not respect each other. And from that realization, a sense of solidarity, a sense of compassion is going to pop up, is going to come around, where probably none of your choices, none of your ideas is going to be taken under consideration at the end of the day, but instead you both are going to gather up and come up with something different from either of your ideas, but is going to suit you both. Okay, I don't know what kind of example to give you, but instead of spending holiday into your family or into her or his family, you are to spend holiday just two of you. That, that would be the third option that you both are to agree, or agree on. So mutual, how can I say, not commitment, but communication is very vital here in order to overcome the 
say the passion and the stagnation that you may experience in terms of pushing your things through, pushing your idea through for like said, your idea is just as good as her or his idea. And uh, backing off is not an option as well as it is, but it will be really sad if that's your option, because according to the two of ones, you actually are sitting on a very good progress with that person. Either this person is your suitor, your person of interest, or your wife or a husband. You are sitting on a good foundation and you can develop even further. And... Um, you just have to find a way, you both have to find a way how you are to do it cumulatively rather than everybody putting uh, pulling in their own way. And that realization is going to come about uh, by the end of the week here with the Four of Cups that, you know what, uh, probably you're going to say to yourself, both of you, when you are leading a conversation, you are to say, you know what, you know, we are in this situation for far too long and we have to do something to improve ourselves. You know, we have to do something to improve our relationship. And probably it is from there uh, that this, you know, how can I say, new anticipation is going to come about and is going to save the day for you. So moving next, we do have... Um, your uh, professional manifestation here with the Ten of Wands first, followed by the by the Knight of a Swords. After that, we do have the Seven of a Swords and the, uh, the Seven of Wands. I'm sorry, and the last one here is going to be the Page of a Wands. So what we are talking about in terms of a professional manifestation, it is wrapping up the things around. It does look like that throughout the week you are to be put under a lot of pressure and under a lot of uh, stress. Not by anybody else, but, but, but by yourself. So you alone are going to put the standards under which you are to work and under which you are to perform in your project, in your business, and so on and so forth. And here we do have a person who is quite displeased by that for a few reasons. And the first reason that comes up to my mind is that they simply cannot keep up with it. That's one of the reasons. The other reason is just as simple as they don't like how you are moving forward. The good thing, they can't do much about it. Either they are gonna follow you or they are going, or they are not to be a factor in the whole thing that it is developed. Now, with the Ten of Wands, you have signed up for that previously. And I'm saying that this is a wrap up because you are on the final stretch of the line. You just have to, you know, push through this week and all is going to be over with. You know, the deal is going to be wrapped up. The project is going to be developed. Um, your place is going to be secured and so on and so forth. Now, at some points throughout the week itself, you may ask yourself, have I done the right thing? Did I involve myself into the right activity here? Have I not um, chewed up a, a too big of a piece and now I am struggled to swallow it down? Now, the answer is no. Uh, in fact, the whole thing that you have involved yourself into, may that be your career or your job as, as it's it all entirety, may that be certain project, may that be your uh, private business, it just calls for such a high demand, which you, my friends, can actually uh, cover up. And all of the toils here with the Ten of Wands is going to be pretty much worth it because the result of the Ten of Wands when you wrap the things around not just only gives you, uh, how can I say, um, rewards and opens new opportunities, but also grants you with a power, okay? So you are going to be much more influential into your place at your work, into uh, your business will become much more influential, and in generally people will look you at a lower place, they are to be on a lower place and you are to be on a higher place than the entrance of the week itself. So you work for your own name here, and your name after that is going to work for your benefit. Uh, another thing that we do have it is that you are to be amazed of how strong you are here and what you are capable to endure in terms of physical activities. So um, th that is described here by the Seven of Wands. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's like you might think that you don't have physically what, what it takes 
but you will. And another thing of the Seven of Wands into this position, it is that you will be very subtle with your maneuvers in terms of career, that you are, you will know when to do something and how to do it at the right moment, at the right timing as well, and so on and so forth. So it's highly, highly unlikely that anything nor anybody is going to catch you off guard. And by the end of, uh, by the end of the week here, as we do have the Page of Wands developing, um, at that point, you will realize that you were a that you are a much stronger person in terms of work performance than you thought you are previously. And at that point, you're going to start considering even new developments and even new enterprises that you can take on. Uh, the first thing that comes to my mind, it could be that, you know, you do have a regular job and by the end of the week, you'll start thinking of some private activities that you can supplement your income with. But the very least, what this reading shows it is that you are to be accoladed for your performance and by the end of the week, you can expect a very, very good news to come around to you in terms of career, that is. So uh, that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.